Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to get this cool looking thing over your kill cam, and I'll play it so you guys can see. <laughs> now, all you need for this is, well first if you want it, if you don't want it straight cut, you want it all cool like this, you're going to need to plug in new blue FX, and you're also going to need an overlay to put on it, like, put a, a fucking film burn, you can put like anything, so, uh, I put galaxy and some weird shit on, so, if you want it all cool like that, you need new blue, LE, and uh, I go to light blender, and I use my preset KK, and if you want to know my preset, I'll show you in a second, so let me just get any clip, let's go to cams, or I really don't care, so, yeah, whatever this is, it's fine, take that off, oh, okay, so, got some Black Ops clip, it works for basically any con, so, always go to properties, take it to disable, for example, I mean, it's for mo uh, slow motion. If you use slow motion, then you can leave it on, but if you don't, it looks it makes it look a lot cleaner. Like, okay, so <clears throat> first you're gonna need anything to put on it. So any overlay, any film burn or underlay, whatever you want. I'm gonna be using the one, this one. I got this off. This is Esca's 5k pack, and I'll leave a link in the description for it. And I'm just going to take it from Sorps Alpha to add. Then I'm going to go into Cannon Crop. I'm going to go Check Mask. And like I said before, if you have Sony Vegas 12, you will have the rectangle mask. If you don't, you have to do it manually with the anchor creation tool. So, I'm Sony Vegas 12, so I'm just going to use the rectangle because it makes everything a lot easier. I'm just going to bring it down to where the gray stops. So, right about there. And over here, I'm just going to put it like right here. Right there ish. And if you want to take the. If you want to leave this open, you go like this. Uh, make sure it's on negative, put it down here, and just fix it till it's about right. That's about right. Something like that. I mean, of course, if it's like for some big episode or team ties, you're going to take your time, but I'm just doing a tutorial, so I'm just going to leave it sloppy, and that's how you basically do it. You can lower it. I like to lower it to bearish. Now, if you have new blue, or there's another one, but new blue, you can go to fucking light blender, and then there's a whole bunch of options. You can play around with it. I have my own, and I call it KK for some reason. And these are my effects. You can pause, print screen, whatever you want. That's my fucking preset of it. And I'm gonna make it a little bit more thick. I'm gonna go into the mask. I'm gonna go back here. And basically, when you add the new blue, it's gonna make everything go back a little bit. So you're gonna first go to normal the edit tool. You're gonna click this, drag it down a little bit. You click the one on the bottom, drag it up a little bit, and then you're going to click the negative for this, and you're going to drag it up a little bit. You can play around with this all you want, and now you have this little effect going on. It looks really nice. You put it on anything you want, and that's how you do it. So, I'm going to be doing tutorials daily. I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I might do one later, like another five hours if I get bored. So leave a like, comment what you want. If you have problems, 
I'll leave my Skype in the description. And I'll answer you on YouTube. Okay. Have a great...